Lots of people have been giving me help and advice on this project to build a wooden car. It feels like a real team effort. Thanks everyone. For instance, Hordor has been working on ideas for the chassis. A little too complicated for me and my limited skills, but it's an interesting start. But let's back up a bit because I'm still working on the front suspension. We need some sort of springs to allow these suspension arms to go up and down. I was keen to go with the bungee cord, similar to the rubber bands in my little model. But that would require fixed points somewhere underneath the arms, because they work by expanding. Making fixed points under the arms wouldn't be any more difficult than above them. But the problem is, we'll need some sort of structure over the arms anyway. Something to hold up the mud guards and for the headlamps. So obviously, instead of having fixed points above and below, it would be best if we combine the two, which means a spring above that works in compression. I did look into these things for a while, but they don't have a lot of travel because they're usually arranged near the hinge point of a bicycle. And one of them usually takes the weight of the back half of a bike. So they're basically too stiff. Maybe I could find one that would suit. But in the meantime, quite a few people suggested air springs, which I didn't know anything about, but people have been using them in cars for years. How did I not know that? Anyway, they seem to be just a sealed rubber container filled with air, lightweight and simple. Perfect, except they're not cheap at all. So I looked around for alternatives. Now, tennis balls are rubber containers filled with air. They're tough and designed to be squashed repeatedly, and they're very cheap. But are they strong enough, and how long would they last? This one is from the pound shop. It's really not much more than a dog toy, but proper tennis balls come in sealed tubes because they're pressurized. But over time, the air pressure reduces because it leaks out, until they've lost most of their bounce. So even if they did work as car springs, how often would you need to replace them? I was wondering whether it was even worth setting up a test, but then, in an interesting coincidence, one of my brothers, Ed, put up a Facebook post praising his particular tennis balls. So I bought some. Apparently, these ones are not pressurized and don't need to be. They contain some sort of aerated foam instead, and apparently they last three times longer than ordinary tennis balls. They're certainly more bouncy than the dog chew one. They're stiffer though as well, so there's probably not enough travel to be useful, unless I use two in a stack. Now that's surely worth a test. So I bodged up something to push around. This is not the final car design, okay? This is just something so I can test the front suspension on. I'm saying this to head off people telling me off for the nails or the aerodynamics or something. It's not finished yet, okay? <laughs> I used 20 millimeter threaded bar right through the wheel hubs. So the wheels are fixed onto the axle and the axle itself is in the bearings. This is the pipe that the front suspension arms hang on. I'm hoping these baked bean tins will hold the tennis balls and still allow them to be squashed. But the squashing arms 
need to be supported on something solid. Again, this is just for the experiment, okay? Right then, what do you think? Enough movement, enough springiness, it's quite difficult to know what sort of bumps and hollows should I be accounting for? A two inch pothole or a six inch curb? And doesn't it all depend on how fast you're traveling when you hit one? It does look promising at this point though, doesn't it? But there are snags. Two round balls on top of each other would rather sproying out sideways than go straight down when they're compressed. So there was a lot of sideways pressure on the bean tin and on the squashing arm. And of course, the arc of movement in the suspension arm complicates things too. So finding the exact place to put the squasher was tricky. I explained the problem to Stefan, one of those who volunteered to help with the design. He came up with three different ways to hold the balls while they were being squashed. Very impressive. Thanks, Stefan. The idea is to 3D print them, but Stefan lives in Sweden and I don't have a printer, so it hasn't happened yet. In the meantime, I thought this design might work. Basically, moving the baked bean tin onto the end of a pivoting arm, so it follows the same arc as the suspension does. Each ball has its own end of the baked bean tin, so they don't interact with one another. So the answer to the question, can you use tennis balls for suspension, is probably yes. They are low cost, easily available and nice and springy. They just need to be contained and squashed in the right way. I didn't go any further with them though, at least for now, because I realized that there was another low cost, easily available and nice and springy option already on the bench. If I arranged the bungee cord like this, then it could be set up over the suspension arms and it would still work in expansion. Hmm, so that's what I did. Again, this is just a rough bodge up to test the theory Let's give it a go. I only had a length of string tied to the steering arm, so it wasn't easy to steer, as you can see. And in fact, I ended up removing the hinge in the middle of the connecting rods, rather than try to keep it down in position. Might go back on that, we'll see. But once that was done, I was able finally to look at the suspension and whether it was working or not. Ideally, the wheels should be upright, but that's down to adjusting the setup. But the actual mechanism seems to be working. Even over this very uneven ground, all the wheels stayed on the ground all the time. And only the front ones have any suspension. So, time to test it on Ashley. Okay, when you're ready, ready. Marks, get set, go.
down the slope, around the tree, and into the barn. Very good. How about a bumpy laneway? Ooh, look, there's one. You can stay there. I'll just push you. I'll just push you. This is actually trying to film and steer at the same time. It's not easy to see, but the springs are going up and down. We got no brakes. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Lots of room for improvement, but I think we have a possible suspension and steering system. Groovy or what?